Hello and welcome to the video. So part of the reason I started making videos is not only because it's fun, it's because I wanted to start documenting more memories. And I figure what is more memorable than me going wedding dress shopping for the very first time. So this is gonna be a fun one. If you didn't know, I got engaged last year of April to my fiance, Kurt, which I'll pop a picture here somewhere. But it is currently March which is 11 months after and I have been hardcore lagging planning the wedding. All our friends and family were asking like, when are you guys getting married? Are you guys still getting married? And the answer is yes, I am just very slow. Slightly overwhelmed with the whole process of wedding planning, which is why I've been pushing it off. But we are making great progress. I found the venue one Friday evening, checked out the venue Sunday and just fell in love with it. It was perfect. It was everything we wanted. We booked it that following week and it was such a great way to kickstart this process and it's been fun so one of the first things I wanted to document was the wedding dress shopping I'm not going to show the dress that I ended up choosing but I am going to show all the other ones I tried and it's a lot of fun I don't dress up often so it was definitely really fun to try on all these glam dresses and ever since I got engaged I just have this obsession with like white so hence this sweater and a lot of other white that I'm gonna start wearing it ended up being so much fun and I took clips of each dress that I tried on so without further ado let's get into it so the first two dresses I tried on were actually ordered from online they're from Lulu's And they actually didn't have bad selections. In fact, I was so sure that I wanted one of them. It was $100, totally affordable prices. The so dress one. This is one of those dresses that looked a lot better online or on the model. And when I tried it on, it was a little underwhelming. I definitely wanted to try something with straps because I have really broad shoulders, so I figured straps would look the best on me. And I knew I wanted something with lace, which this thing has. But all in all, it just didn't have that wow factor. It looked like something I would wear to like a party or a special event, but not something that I would wear on my wedding day. I wanted something that has a reasonable price, but nothing too glam because that's just not me. But unfortunately, this dress was on the other side of the spectrum. It's a little bit too casual. So the second dress was a strapless one. Based on the pictures online, it looked like it was really flattering. So I figure why not? The thing about wedding dress shopping is you should just try on everything. I did a lot of research on wedding dresses and most brides that they ended up picking something that they just did not think they would like. Strapless was one of those for me. I normally don't wear any strapless tops on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I just always thought they made my shoulders look too big. But when I tried this on it was so pretty and it definitely had that like special wow factor like I felt like it was a wedding dress and it was really flattering and I really liked it so I tried on those two dresses from online now it is time to go into some physical stores so I'm actually going with my best friends that I met in college and one from middle school and we usually meet up every like few months or so we all live in different areas in California but they're actually going to come up to LA because it's my birthday so they all came up and they were more than happy to spend my birthday by going wedding dress shopping with me. Let the dress shopping begin. One, two, three. Wait, where do I start? Okay, A line. Let's start with A line. So I was drawn to this one because it had that like corset bodice thing I was going for. The skirt was definitely simple enough and it definitely gave off a vintage vibe. So yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, but I think it was the same thing with the first dress I tried from Lulu's. There was just something about having straps that I didn't love about it. Definitely really pretty. So the second one, I really, really loved. I knew it from the moment I put it on. I loved the beads. I loved how strapless looked on me. And I love that contrast. Like the top is really like glam and fancy. And the skirt is just simple and lace and just nothing too much going on. 
so it really draws your eye to the top. The slit lining on the bottom of the skirt was definitely a plus. And yeah, I just, I loved, I loved this one. The next one, I actually saw it on a mannequin. It wasn't hung up and it just looked like one of those gowns that princesses wear. And there was something about the shape of the dress that really drew my attention. It was so glittery and so beautiful. And I loved how even though it had straps, it kind of looked like it was like lining in towards the neck, like kind of like a halter thing going on. It was beautiful. And one of my favorite parts about the dress is probably the back. I just loved the floral design and yeah, it was really flattering. So besides strapless, the other thing I wanted, which is directly the opposite of strapless, is something that looks really flattering from the back. So this was definitely a neat one to try on. So the last one, the stylist actually recommended it to me based on my other pick and it was definitely so beautiful and I loved this one. So at the time, the second dress, I was so sure that I want it because it fits so well in my budget and it was strapless. I felt great in it. I loved how simple the skirt was. But when I tried this one on, it was like, Oh my god, why? Because it was definitely a little over the budget I had. I loved the sweetheart shape on the top. I loved how it made my waist look. I loved the floral design and the corset thing I was talking about. It was definitely so, so beautiful. So yeah, loved that one. I think the only thing about that one was the price for me. And let's talk about pricing really quick because I feel like it's very personal. Some people may want to splurge on the dress and there's definitely nothing wrong with that. And some people will only want to spend a couple hundred dollars for it. It just really depends on you. And for me, I definitely want to feel beautiful and I want to feel good in the dress, but I'm not willing to spend crazy amounts for it because at the end of the day, I'm only wearing it once. People have told me, but pictures last forever. For me, sticking to the budget was really important, but I also was keeping that in mind that I shouldn't let price completely dictate my choice. So the next place we went to, I scheduled two places for that day. The first one, David's Brido, and the next one is Coco Melody. It is a boutique located in downtown LA, and two separate friends recommended that I check this place out. They had one dollar sign on Yelp, which means it's gonna be affordable. My perception on boutiques is they're usually really pricey. I didn't really know what to expect because I never went wedding dress shopping at a boutique, and the whole time before I went, I just imagine it like that scene from Friends where Monica, Rachel, and Phoebe just had to like fight off other women and pin each other down for the dress. So yeah, this one had a ton of selections. dresses were hung up so high and I'm like a tiny person so the whole time I felt like I was like digging through like curtains. So this first one was a really fun one. The front was like a deep v-neck and there was like a little illusion thing going on in the center. I remember it being really heavy. Like I said, I'm a small person so I felt like I was like being eaten alive. Just kidding, that was aggressive. But I just felt like I couldn't really move around in it. I'm planning on just wearing one dress for the night so I'm not going to change out of it and I want something that I can like dance around it and move comfortably. But it was really pretty. I really loved the top. I loved the lace design and the back was super flattering which is something that I mentioned I like. And one thing the stylist did tell me is if something feels too heavy they can like remove layers from underneath and it usually doesn't cost much to do that so yeah it was definitely really pretty I feel like I keep saying that but it just didn't feel like me the second dress we went back to the strapless and out of all the corset bodice dresses that I tried on I don't know if it's because the skirt was much bigger so on, in contrast it made like the corset look a lot more fitting on me I don't know what it was but this is like one of my favorite top part of the dress and it's a little bit revealing which is something I was worried about but they said when they alter it they can like add whining the only thing again was the skirt just felt a little too big and heavy and there were like multiple layers to the skirt and the first layer was a little short so it felt a little awkward to me all the dresses are so pretty so the next dress was a fun one I wanted to try a dress with like some illusion lining and had this like deep V cut that was going on and the skirt was really pretty because it had like little ruffles and 
in the back, it had these like cute little buttons going on. It was beautiful. But at this point, my heart was so set on strapless and that second dress I tried on from David's Bridal, I just didn't think I would find anything that would beat it. So this last dress, I actually didn't even see until the last minute. So this dress was actually hung up in the dressing room area and I didn't even see it until one of my friends pointed it out and when I put it on I just fell in love with it so it was a sheep lining dress which means it's like somewhere in between like an A line and a mermaid's tail I don't love the mermaid tail look but this was something in between and it definitely looked really flattering it didn't look too big on me and one of the things I loved most about it was it was simple and it was elegantly beautiful and a really nice like golden silk material underneath the lace. The top was really unique. It like mimicked like a sweetheart shape. It really did look like the one I saw online at Beholden and just fell in love with it. Really wanted to say yes. I actually wanted to buy it before I left. The price was so good. It was half of what I wanted to spend. But one of my best friends being the wise friend that she is, told me that I should just sleep on it and review all like the clips and the photos and then decide which I'm so glad I did because I actually booked an appointment at Beholden which is where I found that dress that I saw online but I knew I just had to go into Beholden I've known about the store since long before I was engaged and trying on dresses is fun so I figure why not I went with my friends Laura and Madeline And when I went in, I actually didn't see that many dresses I wanted to try on. So anyways, I tried on the dress I saw online and guys, I was speechless. It was just perfect and I have no critiques. I just loved it. Putting it on feels bright. It has that wow factor. It's so beautiful, but it's like simple at the same time and it fit perfectly with the garden theme of our wedding. And it just feels so fitting because before I even tried on any dresses, this was the one I saw online and just fell in love with it and trying it on was no different. Trying on all those dresses, it just didn't compare with this one. So yeah, it was, it was meant to be. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for coming along and shout out to my friends for grabbing all those clips for me. Thank you so much. And yeah, this was so much fun to make. Let me know if you want to see more wedding related videos. I definitely want to document more things that are not wedding related, but this was definitely a really fun one to make. And comment below which of these dresses that you guys liked or what kind of dress you would like on yourself. I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'll see you guys next time.